Hi, I'm Greg Decker. Let's talk about work. During the last recession, uh, as millions lost their jobs, 56% of those people were baby boomers, about 38% were Gen X, and only 6% were Gen Y. But now companies are rehiring, and we're seeing that about 4% of those are baby boomers, but 60% are Gen Y. So these young people just seem to have it made. But who are they? Well, there's 71 million of them between about third grade and age 30, and they think your cubicles are stupid. And are, are you one of them? Well, have you ever texted the person sitting right next to you? Okay, then you just might be, but let's take a closer look. So grandma spends all summer knitting a sweater for this boy, okay? So how should he thank grandma? Should he A, um, send a Hallmark card, B, a beautifully worded email, or C, let's wait for it, let's set up grandma on Facebook, sure. Because <laughs> grandma can watch for status updates, but grandma, you better watch fast because sweater boy's already onto something else. And communication is changing just that quickly. In the 1950s, a middle schooler had a working vocabulary of about 25,000 words, and now it's down to about 10,000. A high school boy was spending about half his time interacting with other adults, and now that same child is spending about 80, 85 percent of his time interacting just with other kids. Oh, oh bad girl. <laughs> Here's part of the problem. I got married. My best friend, she's sensational, hi. And we've been best friends for 25 years. But, but we created these two, okay? And they're now 17 and 20. And if you give them jobs, and please do, but if you put them to work in one of your five foot tall fabric covered cubicles, they'll starve. Uh, one of them will starve socially, and the other one actually might starve. He'll, he'll forget to come out, he's like, you know, dad, Getting hungry, so cold. I, uh, I used to lead a workshop called Generations at Work, and it was all about how, you know, uh, the traditionals, you know, they were so disciplined, and baby boomers, they loved their careers, and Gen X, slackers, I'm sorry, and, and Gen Y, they wore sandals everywhere, and how do we help everybody get along, right? And that's a great question, but it stops short of the real point that's coming today, which is this, we have 75 million baby boomers in our country, and they want to retire. They're going to retire in about the next 15 years. And who's going to take those jobs and learn that work? Does it have to be the Gen Y? Of course, it does. They're, it's the only place where there's the numbers. And you know, demographically, they're like a football trying to fit through a garden hose. And uh, they, they think your cubicles are stupid. Now, I need to give full disclosure here. Our company is the one that makes the cubicles. And, <laughs> And look at this list. Although we, we beat minivans by two places, you know, we're not outrunning embarrassment by much. So if we want to keep these jobs in our communities and, and, and have this knowledge transfer before half these work, you know, workers head out for the palm trees, and, and how are we going to be great, you know, as innovative as companies and great as a nation if we keep stacking people in five-foot-tall boxes? Now, office work used to happen at the office, and I know this because if I ever called my dad during the day, he would say, hey, Decker, don't call me. I'm working at the... Oh, so your dad, too. All right. So did you... Have you ever worked at home for a whole day? All right. So, yes. Hooray. So picture that, though. Did you sit in the same, the same, the same chair all eight hours? Or did you, you moved around, right? You did some email at your desk, and you took some phone calls on the deck, and the other six hours were to and from the kitchen. But... <laughs> So, so you figured out that you could work from that cool place at home, so could you also work from a beach? The bench at the park. How about a bar? <laughs> so now you find yourself working from all these cool places until one day you realize you're kind of lonely and your printer sucks. <laughs> so you head back to the office, which is the whole reason I go in. I, um, I want to use the big printer and, and talk to my friends. So what will the workplace of your future look like? The one that won't starve off the next generation, the one that helps us regain innovation, um, taller boxes? No, it'll, it'll look more like your favorite library with a terrific coffee shop on one end and a marvelous bar on the other because people can work from anywhere, but they need to work somewhere. And you can work from anywhere, but you need to work somewhere. And so where do you want that somewhere to be? If I do another 20 slides someday, I might call it why my next office is going to be in a tavern. 
and between now and then, that's a really good place to look for me uh, working. Thank you.